Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Will I ever move into my new filming office space or will I just continue to film here? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine at this point, so uh, stay tuned, I guess. But hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and as you guys know, I am absolutely obsessed with fashion. As such, I always get lots of comments asking how big my wardrobe is. So I've given you guys a little bit of a sneak peek in the past into that by trying on every pair of high heels that I own. So I thought it'd be super fun today to kind of like continue that series and try on every single dress that I own. And let me tell you, there are quite a few dresses. So this was inspired by Mia Maples and I think it is such a fun concept. I'm just super excited to show you guys all of the crazy dresses that I own. So as always with these videos, I've divided my dresses into seven different categories. And these categories are mini dresses, midi dresses, LBDs, pink dresses, formal dresses, printed dresses, and sleeved dresses. If you want to get absolutely wasted, take a shot every time I say the word dresses. But without further ado, let's just go try them all on. mini dresses. So this is one of my absolute faves. It's from White Fox Routine and I love wearing it out clubbing. So this is how I'd style it with all the gold material, material, all the gold jewelry. And I love that it's a denim look, but it's not actually denim. So it doesn't get like too hot in summer. You guys know I absolutely adore Meshki. It's my favorite brand of all time. So of course, there's going to be lots of mess, lots of Meshki dresses in this video. However, this one, my absolute fave, broke recently and I forgot about it because I haven't gone to wear it since. This is the orange dress and as you can see, I haven't broken the strap. Ah, why did I do that? But I haven't broken the straps on this one. So this is the front and this is the back and I love this. Another fave of mine is this blue dress from Meshki. I always wear it out clubbing and it's also just a great summer dress as well because it's just super cute and not too casual because you know I love to dress up. This is the final dress that I own from Meshki and I absolutely love this. Like look, isn't it so gorgeous? I'm obsessed with it. I think the color is beautiful and I love the satin material and just the whole vibe of it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I've put on a little bit of weight lately. I'm fine with that, but unfortunately it does mean that this dress, my favorite dress, doesn't zip up anymore, which makes me so sad. I never even got to wear this out because it's been too cold in Brisbane to wear this out and I didn't want to ruin it with a jacket. So I mean, I just don't fit it anymore. I ain't gonna try and zip it up anymore because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna bust the zip open. Another dress that I absolutely adore but doesn't fit me is this one from Beginning Boutique. I, this has never fit me properly, but I just love it and I love how it looks and I haven't wanted to give it up. I always get compliments on this blue dress whenever I wear it and it is from a Fashion Nova, but again, it's a couple of years old so I don't really know if they sell it anymore, but it just gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes and I'm always so happy whenever I wear it. This is one of those dresses that I completely forgot that I own, which probably sounds a little bit silly because I used to wear this all the time, but I just forgot that I owned it. It's so cute. I love it still. It's, oh, I'm all falling. There we go. Okay. I love it still. It's tweed and it's gorgeous, but I don't know. I just don't love it as much as I used to. I think my style's shifting a little bit lately and this isn't really me anymore, but I still love it and I think I'm going to keep it because I say that I'm not going to wear it again. I probably will. It was a favorite of mine, so we'll just have to see. I absolutely adore this one. It's so cute, and I actually wore it on the weekend, and I haven't washed it yet, so if there's any seconds, please excuse that. But I wore this out clubbing, and I love it so much, but I wore it with my favorite pair of sparkly high heels, and they broke within 10 seconds of wearing them. The bow fell off, so kind of bad vibes in this dress, but I still love it nonetheless. This little white number is only new, and it's from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with it. I wore this out on the weekend as well, actually, and I love it so much. that I own are mini dresses. Now, there's only three dresses in this section because y'all know I like to wear my dresses nice and short, but this is one of my personal faves. I really do love wearing this despite it being midi. I just feel like it's so flattering. After this video, I'm only gonna own two midi dresses because I don't even know why I kept this from Shein. This is such a weird design. I've never worn it apart from the video. It still has the tag on it and it's just not cute. I love the individuality and uniqueness of this dress, but it's just not it. So I just know that I'm not gonna this dress, however, I love. This is one of my go-tos when I'm just having like a basic day. I don't usually dress up quite like this. I usually have no makeup on, a ponytail, and sneakers. <laughs> Moving on to the next category, which is LBDs. I am obsessed with this one. It's from White Fox Boutique. I wore it to a friend's birthday earlier this year, and I love it so much. This is one of those dresses that whenever my friends come over, they all love to borrow it because it just looks good on everyone. And I love the little cutout detail that it has, and I'm just obsessed. This is one of my favorite dresses of all time. It's from Beginning Boutique. And despite being one of my favorite dresses, I actually haven't worn it that much because it's just so 
fancy that I don't really get anywhere to wear. Another strapless number that I adore is this one. So when I first got it, it's from a video a while back. It was quite long, about maybe length, but I cut it because it's me and I like everything to be super short. How cute is this black satin dress? So this is the front and this is the back. I love this. I think it's so gorgeous and elegant. Maybe a lot of y'all would agree that it's elegant, but elegant to an extent. The only thing is, is that these bows always come undone, so I tend not to wear this too often, but I love styling it up with some really fun sparkly accessories and it's just like an easy outfit. LBDs are one of my favorite style of dress just because they are so cute and so stylish. Like I think it's Coco Chanel once said that wearing black is always going to be so chic. And this is no exception. I absolutely love this dress. This is the front and this is the back. It's from Pretty Little Thing and I love wearing it this time of year as well because it's very like spooky and Halloween-y and it's currently September and I'm so excited for Halloween so I'm gonna start wearing this dress more because it just fits into that whole vibe and I love it. The last two dresses in the LBD category are sweater dresses with Australia being really messed up right now with COVID. We've been having lots of snap lockdowns and as such I've been getting into sweater dresses more because they still make me feel somewhat put together whilst being super, com super comfy during lockdown. So this is the front, this is the back. I'm not in lockdown right now to clarify, but who knows, we might go into one again soon. So I've been loving wearing this and this one that says no pictures please. This definitely isn't as flattering, but trust me, I'm just going for the comfort and the comfort on this one is a 10 out of 10. because it is all of my pink dresses. Now, I actually don't have as many pink dresses as I thought, and this is obviously only half, but I'm gonna count it anyway. So this, again, is a new one. This is from Princess Polly, and my best friend actually wore this exact outfit out on the weekend because we always share each other's clothes with each other. That wasn't a good sentence. You know what I'm trying to say. She wore this outfit out and got so many compliments on it. It's just so groovy and like 70s vibes, and I love it. I love the two-tone dress because like this is the front, and the back is so cute as well, and I just love it. Princess Polly is really good job some fire stuff lately not sponsored just genuinely love their clothes <laughs> this one's a little more pink and i love this it's great this summer which is coming into in australia so it's really good because i can wear it with heels like this or with sneakers this is actually a dress that i wear on a lot of dates not that i go on lots of like that i don't know anyway if i'm going on dates this is my go-to in summer because it's super cute and girly and flirty but it can be styled up with heels or styled down with a pair of sneakers this dress will always have a special place in my heart because i bought it on my first trip to London. We all know I'm missing traveling so much right now. This is the back and I'm especially missing England and my family in England and I was meant to move there last year so this dress just makes me think of all those happy memories and I also love the material on it of course. The tweed, I'm obsessed with the tweed. This is a gorgeous dress that I love that's fully pink. It's so gorgeous and girly and I love this in spring and it's finally spring in Australia. Can you tell that I'm really excited for it to be warming up? I hate winter, so I'm really excited to be able to wear flowy dresses like this again. I've always thought that this dress from Glassons didn't look that good on me, but I actually, or what didn't fit my body type properly. I actually think that I just don't like dresses and sneakers together as much as I do dresses and heels. I really think, like, because I always wear this dress and sneakers, and now I have heels on, I really like it. So I think I just needed some heels to jump it up. All of the formal dresses that I own, or depending where you are, you might call these prom dresses. Basically, long dresses. So I don't know what's going on with formals in Australia right now. Like I know I don't think that like a majority of states will be able to have formals since most places are in lockdowns. But if they are happening, let me know because I have so many formal dresses that I obviously as a 22 year old woman do not need. And if someone out there needs a formal dress, be sure to let me know down below because I have heaps of these. Any of these in this video, if you're interested, let me know down below and I'll just send it to you for free. But anyway, I have this pink one. It's super cute. I love the design on it. It's from a video. I literally, like it still has the tag on it. I'm obviously not wearing this anywhere. I don't really go anywhere that needs a dress like this, but I do love the design and think it's super cute. This dress I myself have never worn, but one night my friends and I were at my apartment and we got invited to something where we needed to wear a long dress. We panicked, she grabbed this one, I grabbed the one that I'm gonna show you next, and this normally sits on the shoulder like this, but my friend wore it off the shoulder and I was like, smart. So this one I'm gonna keep because I have a feeling if I ever need to go to a formal event, this is what I would wear because this is about as formal as I get. This is the dress that I wore that night. I love it so much and it's super cute. Again, just from Fashion Nova. And as you can see, with some gold accessories, it doesn't look like a Fashion Nova dress. Here we have another sparkly long dress that I have never worn and like and will never wear anywhere. This is the 
front. Let me just check my fries in. Oh, the tag's still there. And this is the back. So yeah, definitely haven't worn this anywhere. I kind of like it's a little bit outdated now anyway, but I do love the sparkles on this dress. I am in love with this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I have nowhere to wear it. And it still has the tag. So this is one that I would definitely love to give away to someone to wear. Well, I was going to say to their formal. Probably can't wear this to a formal, but something like that. Because I think it's gorgeous, but I just don't wear it. And I've had it in my closet for like three years. So it's, this needs to go to someone that wants it <laughs> into a loving home. is printed dresses or pattern dresses. I don't really know which one to call it, but this dress I have been really loving lately. So this is the front and this is the back. I absolutely love this brown design, but when I got it, it was actually a little bit big on me. So here's a life hack for you all that I've used on this dress and it's worked so well. You just need a hair tie and two safety pins. You hook the safety pins on either side of the hair tie, put one safety pin in like here, another one here, and it actually pulls it together. And that's what I've done at the back. It's an easy way just to take a dress in if you're in a pinch and don't really want to sew the whole thing up again. This dress is still quite new and as such, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I think that this will be great on like beach holidays in the summer. I'm so excited for summer. It's finally starting to heat up here and I literally can't wait. This is the dress that my friends and I like to call the name naked people dress because of all the naked people on it. So this is the front and this is the back. I love it. It's so gorgeous and I always get lots of compliments on it when I wear it out and I always feel, I don't know, just really good in this dress. As you can probably tell, I've really been loving the brown tone dresses lately and this is no exception. This one is from Shein and I love wearing this out because it's super comfy. Like it almost feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. It's because it's a nice thin cotton material, which usually I don't like dresses that are a thin material, but because this has a print on it, it means that it's not see-through and as such is just super comfortable. This is one of my faves as well because I am an Aries, a fire sign, and is this not the most fire, like is it flame outfit ever? I love it so much. So this dress is from Shein. The dress is also extendable, like you can wear it a bit longer or a bit shorter, but this is the length that I usually like to wear it at. This one is only new and I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet, just because it's so out of my comfort zone. But this is the front and this is the back. I feel like this is potentially a really cute festival outfit. Actually, this would be a really cute festival outfit. I'm not going to go to any festivals anytime soon, but if I do, I think I'm going to wear this. So it's from Princess Polly. It's super cute. You can also wear it without this because it's detachable, but I think it definitely needs the sleeve feature. So I think I like it. It's just so different that I'm not used to it yet. <laughs> we have sleeves dresses. Basically, these are the dresses. There's only two that I didn't really know where else to put them and they both have sleeves. So, this is the first one. I love this so much. It's from Shein. All of my friends love to borrow this. It's really good because you can dress it up with heels and it's super cute, but you can also dress it down with a nice pair of sneakers. What a dress to end on. A dress that I don't think y'all would expect me to own, but this is the final dress in today's video. So, this is the front and this is the back. It's a little bit broken on the back. I just haven't fixed it yet, but I do need a somewhat formal dress in case I'm going to something like, I don't know, graduation or something where I need to look somewhat put together. This is my go-to because I absolutely love the color blue. I love the lace and everything and it's just super cute. It hardly gets worn. It literally just stays in my closet as a like, if I need you situation and I don't wear it out often, but it's just there in case. And that is me trying on every single dress that I own. Which one was your favorite? Be sure to let me know it down below. I didn't try on this one because this is actually my roommate's, but it's super cute and I love it. So I thought I'd borrow it for this video. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you love fashion content like this, because I'm always posting on there as well. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel because I upload new videos every single week. And be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel as well because I've been uploading on there lots lately. And now I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Squarespace. So Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful platform in which to create your own website. With Squarespace, you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through members only game content. With this, you can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. You can also create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system. And this system supports threaded comments, replies and likes. You can also use Squarespace's powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts as well. Extend Squarespace Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce abilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. And with Squarespace, you can
can also display your social profiles across your website. And you can automatically push your website content to your favorite social channels so that your followers can share it too. So be sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Annalise Wood for 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And thank you to you guys for supporting Squarespace because that in turn supports me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much as well for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.